Greetings beautiful people, this is Glory Fu aka Miss Incredible. I am happy to welcome you once again to my YouTube channel. As always, you already know, right? So um, just in case you're tuning in for the first time, please do well to subscribe to my channel because I am pretty sure you would love the content we're sharing out here. This is information and people who are going to take your life to the next level. And today we're going to be doing yet another book review. This is a very, 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 very old book written by Pastor Creflo Dollar. And what is the title of the book? Uprooting the Spirit of Fear. Hey, do you know that most people don't achieve the, their goals in life? Most people don't do the things they love to do the most in life because of fear. Did you know that? So I got to read this book some years back about... um three, four years back, and uh, I decided to go through it once again. It's actually one of the books we are reading in my book club presently. So I decided to share the first three chapters of the book with you today. Now, um, like you know already, like I said already, most the high, one of the highest things that kills dreams is uh, the spirit of fear. Now, why do we call fear a spirit? I'm going to be reading and quoting some parts of the book so you understand better i don't i don't want to just be explaining from maybe what i understand or what i i got from there so i'll be quoting from time to time and the first thing i would like to quote with you is um god has not given us the spirit of fear but that of power and of love and of a sound mind did you hear that god did not give us a spirit of fear he rather gave us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Okay, that is to tell you that anything, anything away from these things that you're experiencing in your life is caused by the spirit of fear. Now, he quoted a, an example at the beginning of the book. A lady came to his office and she was in tears. Like she was, she's at this point in her life where she feels like everything is crumbling. Guess why? she is fat like she's big she's put on weight so much and she fears that her husband will not love her anymore she fears that uh, her friends will, will will not like to be with her anymore she fears that she will not be able to do the things she used to do because she has put on so much weight she fears that um people are going to she's not going to look good and so on that is to tell you that these are this this is one of the things that as tiny as it is fear can instill so much in you like you've put on weight so what there's definitely a reason why you've put on weight and there's definitely a way you can lose the weight so why should you allow fear to just take over you and crumb shatter your life like this and you know if one part of your life is not functioning well the rest are affected imagine you fear that your husband will not love you anymore when you fear something you attract it do you know that you fear that your friends will not want to be in your company anymore because you no longer look like them. Trust me, with time, your friends will start running away from you because you have, that is a spirit you have attracted to yourself and it's going to come with consequences. Now, there are two main forces under which human beings operate. Now, the law of the spirit of life in Jesus Christ or the law of sin and death. The first law, that of life in Jesus Christ, is the spirit, is the one which gives you hope. The other one is despair. And that is how life is. Take it from any, any angle. There are two forces controlling everything. Two spirits, let's put it that way. Either that of fear and that of faith. You have the power to choose which one works for you best. Now, this is this is just what happens throughout uh, chapter one of the book. Pastor Creflo, Creflo tries to tell you how spirit, how fear operates like a spirit. And then we go to chapter two, hiring the right team. And it is like a continuation of chapter one. OK, it's like a continuation of chapter one. Yeah, so it's just the, the two teams involved here are that of faith and that of despair. That of faith and that of fear. You have the power to hire 
which team you want to work with. And you should know that you should know that it is as easy for you to hire a team as you can fire a team. So if you have been living all your life in fear and despair, you should know that it is upon you. You can take it upon you to hire the spirit of faith and hope and start living with it. And how do you hire it? You do it most especially by your words and your actions. By your words and your actions. For it is said in the book of Proverbs, death and life are in the power of your tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. If you speak hopeless words all the time, your life is going to be hopeless. You're going to attract hopeless circumstances. If you speak life, you're going to attract lively circumstances in your life. You are the one who decides all of this. And that is why I was talking with a friend the other day and he was like, I, I am poor. Or, yeah, he was like, he doesn't have any money. I'm like, no, don't say that. You don't say you don't have any money. How, how can you say that kind of thing? He was like, but that's a reality. And I told him, I don't, say, I don't speak those kind of realities. My physical environment cannot counter what God has said or what God has said about my life. Never. I was speaking with a friend the other day as well, and um, she was asking me, do you, do you ever face a down moment? Do you have times when things are not working out for you? I'm like, yes. And then she's like, so why is that all the time you're talking, you're talking about, it's like your life is, 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 is all good. It's like everything is rosy for you. I said, it's because I speak what I want to attract. I speak what I want. I speak the reality that God has said about me and not what I see around me. I made a post the other day, the other day on Facebook, which which invited so many uh, stones on me, talking about the kind of man I want to get married to. God said it in His Word: "Ask and I'm going to give you; knock and I'll open the door for you; seek and you will find." Now the spirit of fear and hopelessness will not let you speak because maybe you see how things are happening around you. You have to settle for less. Hell no. I settle for what He has said. He has He has set for me. He said his plans for me are, are plans to prosper me. And I focus only on those plans that are going to prosper me. I don't think I don't think about the circumstances at hand. Yeah, I do work. I put in the hard work and I expect the best in every area of my life. That is hiring the right team. I choose the team that is positive. I choose the team, the team that has the, 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 the positive energy that I, that I need. And we go to chapter 3, which is talking about breaking the bondage of fear. How do you know that fear is a bondage? There are people who cannot do anything because I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of that, I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of that. It's a bondage you're living in. And trust me, you can break away from this bondage. It is said, if fear produces bondage, what does faith produce? liberty how to break away from this bondage you simply replace your fears with faith walk by faith do everything by faith and you're going to see the results i am seeing these results big time in my life i see the results of faith big time in my life sometime last week i just woke up and i was prophesying into my life i was saying that i attract money Dear universe, I am open and I am ready to receive all the money you have in store for me today. I'm even open and ready to receive that of my brothers and sisters who are not ready to receive from you. I see these affirmations and I see things happening to me. I receive it. I receive money. I receive love. I receive care. I receive just good things because I speak them every day to myself. I say them every day to myself. And you have to know that as a child of God, you are wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in the righteousness of God. Not fear. You should bury this truth in you. That the spirit that God put in you is that of power, is that of love, is that of authority, and not that of fear. Operate from that level and you see how things are turning around in your life. 
operate from that level and see and see marvelous changes happening in your life. And God said, I will never leave you. I will never for forsake you. That's in the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 5. And Napoleon, he will always say this. He always said this, sorry. You attract what you think about always. If you, if, you, if you have faith, if you expect positive, positive will come to you. If you expect negative all the time, negative will come to you. And that is the difference between fear and faith. That's the difference between operating from the level of faith and operating from fear. All right, beautiful people. That was it for the first three chapters of um, Operating the Spirit of Fear by Pastor Creflo Dollar. You should get this book and read it. Like I said, this channel is just to hook you up with information and people that is going to take your life to the next level. Beautiful people, I'm signing out now. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please, 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 please do subscribe already and turn on your notifications so you're always the first to see when there is a new video here. And feel free to uh, pr propose uh, videos, books, topics you want us to discuss on the channel. I am... For glory means incredible i believe in you i believe that you're here for an amazing mission and my prayer for you is that you find that mission and live it to the fullest i spread love okay